Love Buns. This is your girl, Miss Books, to you. Coming to you today with a raspy voice, Jesus. But I'm going to make it work. I'm going to make it do what it do. Today is day nine of the Self Love Challenge by Miss Your Lifestylist and Uniquely Hooked. I think it's her name that's on. Is it Instagram? Instagram and. Oh, Jesus. On oh, Instagram and Twitter. I'm sorry. They got a lot going on in front of me. But today's affirmation is I lovely embrace my fears. Okay. She actually made a lot of good points um, during her video about embracing your fears and when, when I do uh, my, my example of embracing my fears is when I feel uncomfortable or if I feel something is not right <clears throat> I'm always the person you know that will dive into something new and I, I crave that newness it's a good and a bad thing but um points made when you're not in a good headspace things around you aren't good and i'll say that for my last position that i had um i wasn't in a good headspace it could have been due to the things that were going on in my personal life as well but um for the most part it was things that were going on around me and like the my angelou quote says if you don't like something change it if you can't change it change your attitude and i couldn't change my attitude because i just knew that this was not norm it was norm for them but it wasn't norm for me because when i if i brought up that's another thing i felt like when i brought up an issue it was just like okay so I don't feel like it was addressed or maybe, it, I don't know. I just don't feel like it was addressed. I, I, that's, my, that's my opinion. I just don't feel like it was addressed. So the next thing is overcoming under earning experience taught me not to fear progression. Y'all, I have to make a separate video in its entirety about my overcoming under earning experience. And that's basically a book. And this is about... I think about two, three years ago, it was a group, and Miss Anna from the library. She, I love her. I love, like, love, love, love her. And I love the library. And I didn't at that time. I was doing YouTube, but I, I wasn't. But I think in certain spaces, it just, it's, it don't, it doesn't need to be recorded. And I think that was a space where it didn't. Even be recorded because in that it was a woman's group it was not just made to be a woman's group but <clears throat> that's all that actually showed up so you know we had all women from all different backgrounds all ages all ethnicities and we basically were saying about you know it, the book is about a lady who husband divorced her and she basically had to start over in life and I think, excuse me, a lot of us were at that point in our life where we were starting over. And I know at that point in my life, I just felt stuck. I felt like I know it's something for me. I know I need to figure out what my purpose is. And I'm still trying to find my purpose. But, you know, I was trying to find out what my purpose was. You know, unhappy at a job. And although I say I'm going to have a better job, it's situations. It's not the overall unhappiness because you can always find a positive about anything. But the group basically told you, and not only the group, but hell, our president alone, their president alone, lets you know that you do not have to have true qualifications to apply for a position because that man gonna leave that one alone but you know you go after what you want and in the, it, the statistic was 
just crazy of a man, all he really needs in his head is one or two qualifications. A woman in our head, I think it was 80 or 90 percent. If we don't meet 80 or 90 percent of what is required, then we don't even apply. So that just lets you know that the way that they the way that they process things is so different. Like a woman, we want to be able to do it efficiently, effectively, and put our all into it. Versus a man like, oh, I could I could do it. And he probably know he can't do it, but he still say he can do it. So, you know, it's just it was a good, it was a good, 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 good course. <clears throat> because we I think we all needed it. And at that point I think we were all kind of stuck in certain positions in our lives and we weren't, you know, we weren't getting anywhere. We weren't going in there. We weren't doing anything. So, you know. So, um, so, I mean, I guess it's okay to have that, you know, mind frame, but <coughs> men are just very, a, little, a lot more confident than women are when it comes to applying for positions that they know that they, that they know that they can't actually perform the task and do this of the position. That was crazy to me. But um, the other thing was fear will cripple you. You know, if you allow it to, it, your 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 mind will tell you no I can't do this and it, it won't get done and you know you have so much stuff against you and you know I challenge myself all the time to step out on fear and as soon as that thing comes in my head to say oh you can't do that what you talking about you can you can and that is how I go through things and you know my mom my grandma I remember conversation I had my grandma my grandma was like oh my god girl you have so many jobs and you've had so many jobs and that's probably why I know a lot of people because of all of the different jobs that I've had but the one thing I had a conversation with and a lot of times I don't think it has anything to do with ethnicity because it was a Caucasian lady who told me this but she told me she said Carla one thing I noticed about black people black people will stay faithful to a position because that's what my grandmother was saying Carla you moving from job 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 just to get more money and it and and that's not always the objective yes you are supposed to do something that you want but you also want a better life and like I had I had as far as growing up I had a very good life that my parents provided for me and I said my parents and my children don't have the luxury of having both parents so that means I have to work that much harder to provide for them and you know that's that's just what I I do I, I I'm forever changing I'm I'm a I go from caterpillar to butterfly back to caterpillar and I think that's what we all have to do we have to push ourselves to want to be great to want to do better now if it's come to a point where and I see a lot where they have people who have six figure salaries and then they end up quitting I, I'm knowing that these people had a plan before they just quit their six-figure salary. They did, you know, save monies so they can still kind of sort of maintain a decent life for themselves. So that was day nine, huh, buzz. I hope you all enjoyed it. Hope the voice is not too angry for you. I hope you all have a great day. Make sure you comment. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like. And make sure you be vocal in the comments because I really want to know what you all think about these self-love challenges. And I know my my lips look ashy, but they're actually not ashy. And I look like kind of like Oompa Loompa. I have absolutely <clears throat> too much color. I'm, I don't know. It's a lot going on this morning. But I'm about to go get to work and get it done. All right, you guys have a great day. I love you.